How y'all doing? Just wanted to real quick go over something that uh, I learned today. I learned a little trick for this. For those of y'all that are wanting to put uh, a wooden wire fence or a wooden chain link fence or something like that, they're becoming more and more popular these days. Uh, I'm building one out here in my backyard and one of the issues that I had was how do I get the uh, welded wire, which is what we're using, how do I get it tie, uh, tight between the posts uh, so I take all that slack out and it actually looks like a nice professional installation. Um, and I, I stole this idea from someone else that I watched on YouTube, but I thought it was a great idea and I kind of modified it just to make it easier to, to hook up and unhook. So I'm going to show you real quick. <clears throat> so what I did, and here's the, the fence I got. I got my posts up and it's going to have a wood topper and a wood bottom eventually. I'm just trying to get it up right now so I can get my let my dogs out and they can run without running into the highway over here. But what I did to tighten this between posts, and I'm using a, a staple gun to um, staple these down. I'm using a, a little cheap $99 staple gun, and it's working very well. Um, and I basically took one of my 2x6s, and I cut it in half, and I'm using clamps clamp them together to clamp them onto the wire and then I'm wrapping a uh, a ratchet strap top and bottom that I attach to the back of my truck there and I just ratchet it down and and get the wire nice and tight up against the pole it tightens tightens the wire you know plenty tight there uh, takes just about all the play out of it and makes it look like a nice straight installation so for those of y'all that are wanting to you know do a a wooden wire fence and you want to do it yourself like i like to do everything by myself uh, this is just a little trick to get that wire nice and tight so good luck out there and we'll uh we'll see you on the next video